How does ethanol fuel affect my carburetor? Well, so this is part three of our series on fuels and I wanted to devote a special section to carbureted Mercedes. So the easiest way to start this segment is by telling you guys what I've heard from people who work on Mercedes fuel systems. My friend Omar Rodriguez of Just Carburetors, um, Omar's a pretty amazing guy. When he needs a part, he makes it. <laughs> That's all I have to say. But Omar and I have talked about the effect of ethanol and carburetors, and it, it really is not good at all because what ethanol does is it sort of acts as a gateway chemical, especially if you have a carbureted Mercedes and it sits a lot. The ethanol is hydrophilic or hygroscopic. It pulls water out of the atmosphere, causes areas of extreme moisture to form in your gas tank if it's not sealed perfectly. And even if the tank is full, this effect apparently doesn't go away. Now what water does is it invites rust and the rust can end up getting in your carburetors and blocking the jets, especially the idle jets, you know, especially if you have a Solex PHH such as on a 190 SL or a Zenith 3540 INAT, like on a 250S or a 280S. So these ethanol problems can be long-term or they could be short-term where they cause the various diaphragms and gaskets in the carburetor to deteriorate. So which diaphragms and gaskets is Pierre talking about, you might ask? Well, your fuel pump takes a diaphragm. It also has a paper check valve in it. The carburetors itself, themselves, if you have a 3540 Zenith, has an accelerator pump with a rubber membrane. The older Solex 34 PAITA carburetor, for example, or the PH44 has a rubber diaphragm for the accelerator pump. And all of these things can get affected by, a, uh, by, by an excessive amount of water in your fuel or ethanol in your fuel. So if you have a carbureted Mercedes, there's a third problem that comes up, and that is the in combustibility of fuel. Mercedes that were getting 15 to 16 miles per gallon with uh, ethanol free fuel now get around 13 or 14 miles per gallon with ethanol in the fuel. And that's because you need more throttle to accomplish the same combustion. You need more gas to get the same burn in the cylinder. Your spark plugs don't live as long because the fuel mixture isn't quite as lean as it could possibly be. Because instead of just having fuel and air, you have fuel and you have gasoline, ethanol and air, or you have gasoline, water and ethanol and air, and two of those don't burn very well. In fact, if you look at the efficiency of ethanol fueled cars in Brazil that run on sugarcane alcohol, you will see that their fuel efficiency is nowhere near that of regular gasoline. Now, I'm not saying ethanol is bad, but I do believe it should be available to people who want to buy it. In other words, if you live in California and your state has decided that you're not allowed to purchase fuel without ethanol in it, I mean, that's a load of crap. People should have the right to choose what kind of fuel they put in their car within the limits of reason. I don't think that ethanol-based fuel is cleaner than gasoline, and there's not a lot of statistics to back it up. In an earlier video, I discussed the effect of ethanol on cage electronic systems. Larry Fletcher, my friend at CIS Flowtech, has actually brought up time and time again that ethanol eats up the O-rings and fuel distributors it gums up the the piston in in the in the um, in the fuel distributor that that uh, that causes uh, fuel fuel metering to occur, and it damages the electrohydraulic actuator. So many of you in our channel have told me about buying a Mercedes that sat only for a year, and then having these massive problems where the car won't accelerate, it won't run, uh, it won't rev past a thousand RPM. And almost all of these are certainly linked to either ethanol or water contamination caused by ethanol and the rust that, that follows it. And so I guess the thing I'd like for all of you to take away from this video is try to be conscientious of the fuel you're using. And if you have a carbureted Mercedes, 
you know, life in the fast lane involves seeking out ethanol-free fuel or using the fuel that's in the tank or finding an additive that, that sort of delays the, the consequences. So anyway, if uh, there's any more information we can give you guys, let us know. And in the meantime, like, share, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications. Think about supporting us on Patreon and enjoy driving your Mercedes-Benz.